All right, we are back probably to beat Aviary Attorney. Let's, uh, let's go. Had a really bad outcome last episode. I uh, totally got Miles Edgeworth killed, but I greatly appreciate that this game allows for that. Rooster's dead and the madam tasted her first blood. Worth getting shot for. And every piece is falling into place. To reason. Oh, Act 4C. So you get a completely different final act depending on how the previous case went. That's pretty cool. It seems like this game got really short shrift. Um, a lot of people are, seem to be like, oh, you know, it's it's only five hours long or four hours long. And Ace Attorney games are 30 hours long. And I'm like, I know, isn't that great? <laughs> I'm not getting as much value for my dollar. Like, really, though? You don't harbor too much hate for the madam. I know the rooster was your friend, but the madam does what she does for the good of France. Oh, it was missing chapters when it was released. Oh, bummer. So the Metacritic has been damaged by that. Wine sounds good. Thirty cents of coffee deducted from a sixty cent omelet. And it was stay tuned for the next chapter. Hmm. They just released them for free after that? But it was released at full price, not as an early access game. That's unfortunate. They should have just waited until it was finished. It's really good. I think this game is better than Phoenix Raid. I think it's also better having played Phoenix Raid. I don't know if I would advise someone play this without having touched the Phoenix Wright games before. Propagable noted last episode that uh, nobody commented on the fact that we were going to have a parrot testify in a very different setting. I wonder if that was the entire impetus for it being aviary attorney and them being birds and animal people. I have a gun question. Uh, iron or lead bullets? What a delightful technical question. Let's do that. Lead bullets. They're cheap. Easy to make. With a cooking pot, you can melt lead down and cast it in the right shape. Bullet will zip straight through your armor. So you armor bone and all. Who wears armor nowadays? Where's a little one? Sparrowson, where'd you go? I was caught for two minutes. They let Sparrowson escape. I let Sparrowson escape. Somewhat gutsy of you to outright admit that. By rights, I should shoot you here and now. I need a lawyer to bring our plans to fruition. That bird was dispensable, you are not. Planning to form a protest, an enormous protest on the 14th of this month. And they draw a massive crowd at the place. Is it plus? De la Concorde? Peaceful uprisings have a habit of turning violent, don't they? Yeah, we're going to go into Rilia. That's Eternal Darkness. It's triggered a Comcast outage as a sanity effect yesterday. The day of the revolution will drag both of the overpaid bourgeois into the streets. Prosecute them then and there. If I were to interview a lot of citizens, gather a lot of evidence, file some paperwork, 
to prepare a case in around two months. She's going to say that's not acceptable. Use your ingenuity on the day, just like you did in the catacombs. You can't be serious. Okay, so I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up being a super short uh, epilogue. The actual how long to beat is only five hours. I saw that it was in Act 4, but when they're describing it this way... Spend this week at my side while I complete our preparations. That seems excessive. I promise to help, but I know you don't actually believe in the cause of the Second Republic. New day. I love that basically everything about Phoenix Wright is turned on its head, including the ability to make incorrect decisions, right? What's the question mark? We're sitting in the tavern. Falcon gave me the opportunity to escape. Miles Edgeworth died at the hands of the rebels. Put the puzzle pieces together. He leapt into the lion's den for the specific purpose of siding with the rebels. No, false. Polarity's kind of gumshoe. What do you know about Falcon's past? They have been setting this up. I told you what he did during the July Revolution before he changed his name. The Viridian Killer. Ooh. Oh no, I want to know more about that. Beautiful spot to relax, have a picnic, or plan for a violent uprising. It takes 10 minutes to walk from the Place de la Concorde to this very spot. The palace lies five minutes north. The crowd will be large and slow. Having a logistics problem? Take too long to pass through, the police will trap us in. I'll be flanked and slaughtered. Let's see. When I go around. Marching through the gardens makes a better political statement. Bird brain parrot would probably shoot the idea down, right? That was Thursday. Look at that disgusting den of fat cat bourgeois and hypocritical politicians. Stuffing his bloated face with cake and wine while he boasts about being the perfect citizen king. Gather furniture from nearby buildings, build a wall, and position rifles to fend off the police. You actually do intend on dragging the gang out of the palace through violence. Of course. There's no way to bring change to a country without using violence, is there? Ooh. I think there are ways. People look back on the violent moments of history, the executions, the wars, and the bloody revolutions. Who's to say a country could not be overturned just through the chance of the people? Pacifist revolution, interesting. I would love for such a thing to be possible. Okay, so I'm actually making choices here, that's kinda cool. I'm here for groceries. <laughs> I think I'm just a gun toting rebel. I don't need to buy food.
no idea how to pronounce their names. Saten Gambed. I feel like I'm failing to ignore. I'm including too many consonants for those to be right. Same old bullying tactics. Push around a bigger rat. Policeman shot the beggar? <laughs> I find this difficult to believe. A policeman wouldn't shoot a beggar without just cause. Mm. This is the regime as Parisians live under. I ask you a couple questions. Uh, yeah, what did the policeman look like? Tall, ugly, and mean looking, and he had one eye. Oh shit! One of them pirate patches, that's Scumshoe. He's a bitter individual, but he's morally righteous. I can't imagine him shooting an innocent person so recklessly. Did nobody investigate the shooting? Nard. Who was the rat? Do you have no family, no means of support? Yeah, the art style on the public domain soundtrack is pretty great. Although, paradoxically, I get more copyright claims on games that use public domain music than any other kind of soundtrack. to accomplish in this sleazy back alley establishment. Let's present the accusation of sleaze. So it feels like the artists go out of their way to not draw hands, but sometimes they just do. Like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. I'm a stoic. Sparrows didn't drop by earlier. He informed me of your situation. Working with Inspector Valerdi, attempting to unravel the rebel plot. Thirty francs. I think I have that much. Sparrowson asked if you were the Viridian killer, the one responsible for the random bombings. Why on earth would he ask that? Perhaps the inspector had been telling him stories. It couldn't possibly be Falcon. How do you know I'm not the Viridian killer? You're a semi-drunk bumbling oaf. You've seen in multiple places at once, which leads him to believe that he was actually more than one person. He's a fox, Renard. There's a chapter about him earlier. Crimson Killer would be a much cooler name. The victim was a friend of Mousy's. Did you hear the murderer wore an eye patch? I did. Yeah, it's uh. Valerity. Gumshoe. Yeah, he looks more fox-like when he's in his uh, other costume, when he was undercover in the prison.
Is our revolution going to end in blood? Like in 1830? Ellipsis is the correct answer. Yeah, the whole twist is that he ended up being a private investigator. So he put on the fancy clothes and the glasses. Mm hmm. They're at the start of this episode. Are you ready? Not at all. Help me to prosecute the king and prime minister. If and when you drag them from the palace, right? I had no time to repair. I have no evidence. This whole trial is going to be one big fiasco. I'm getting the sense that this is going to be a bad ending. That it's going to be like a sham trial. And that if I had saved Edgeworth, that things would play out differently here. That's okay. Props to Aviary Attorney for letting me get the bad ending. Not anymore, yeah. This game is an elaborate send-up of Phoenix Wright, so like it comments on how there's a different judge in every trial, unlike Phoenix Wright. A parrot testifies, or almost testifies. There's a lot of little things in the trial and investigation process that kind of calls into question problems with Ace Attorney. This game is to Phoenix Wright as Undertale is to JRPGs. I'm not here for the violence, madam. Yeah, we screwed up the trial with revealing Silvius. Lawyer is something of a lion tamer. There's no violence, there'll be no power gap. We need chaos for our plan to work. It's a send up of Phoenix, right? It's not just subbing one thing in Phoenix Wright for something else in this, it's actively commenting on that series. And it's actually really well written and well done. Two-faced wolf. Struck the barricade. Bummer. Wonder if it was possible in a different ending to set them on a different path. Body. They gotta frame Gumshoe or take him down. Setting us against each other. <laughs> True is gonna shot the bird point blank through her heart. The policeman who killed the rat. I wonder who was wearing an eye patch for that killing. There's no way that's a coincidence. No! Oh, don't judge and execute her here or him here and now. 
I know this man. He is ruthlessly law-abiding. Whoops. <laughs> Previous failures are all paying off here in this chapter. I really like the the kind of twist in the first trial that you were defending a guilty person. Because <laughs> that can happen, right? Phoenix Wright just miraculously finds himself almost always defending innocent people. Sam in the body. You have two minutes. Handprint made in blood. It's the handprint in blood. It's another working girl. anyone will care. Maybe this girl's faking her injury. Really ought to check for a pulse. Well, it took a fairly straight angle of entry through the mademoiselle's back. The caliber of the bullet is different from the caliber of the inspector's gun. You need to see the bullet itself. Help me retrieve the bullet. One used bullet. Lead rifle or pistol ball. The bullet fragmented upon impact. I gathered all the pieces, but I can't assess its diameter with any accuracy. 13 to 17 millimeters. Cool. I'm actually curious if there's an actual secret time limit on this screen. I think I'm out of things to investigate here on her. We're able to put handprints. Yeah, I think I'm done. Exactly as planned. My disguises are more complex than yours, but I assume you would recognize Prince Juan when you saw him. He's Judge Romulus. just in case the player didn't figure it out in screwing up the previous trials. Fledgling. He's the Viridian Killer? Oh, so he's two scumbags in one. All right, then. <laughs> Pistol and an eye patch. No time to explain. Mousy. So, if you said that all the chapters weren't available when the game launched, was this one around? This is Act 4C.
So far, it definitely has the feel of like linear epilogue as opposed to an actual case. Growing impatient, they confess your crimes. Friar testified seeing you murder a girl, completely unprovoked. Don't do it again! Wait! Falcon has uncovered some convincing evidence. Five minutes. We already got Edgeworth killed, we can't get Gumshoe killed too. Scarpered as soon as he dropped the inspector off. I am a brave duck. Tell him, Beck. I am the great officer Beck. Handsome, intelligent, strong. Truly a fearless hero. I love all the details on the art for the individual characters. Like, it's easy to kind of just get accustomed to it, but I love the guy's little spectacles. It's great. They clearly do nothing because his eyes are on either side of his head. <laughs> Bird meekins. What'll we do? As soon as you hear the first shot, retaliate. Hit them with everything you've got. Don't leave a single piece of the barricade remaining. Aren't you a Christian? Your idea doesn't seem very Christian-y. You think this is a moral issue? Let me tell you a secret, my dearest duck friend. There is no God. Holy shit. No overarching morality or higher plan. No heaven to save the righteous or hell to punish the sinners. It's a lot to put on this duck guy. It's only you, your artillery, and 10,000 rebels who want to dine in Peking Duck tonight. It's you or them. Damn. Wipe that mouse off your shoulder. I patch on and Remus's brother's clothing. Uh, Wade Giles versus Pinion. I feel like the Edgeworth trial was like the perfect ending as far as the actual core gameplay loop of it all being in the catacombs and being a different take on a trial. Just like a statement to question. It's gone. What caliber is it? 15 millimeters. Oof, that's not good. Well, it were 17 millimeters, it wouldn't fit the inspector's 15 millimeter gun. The inspector even carrying a weapon. Standard issue percussion lock pistol. Nothing else about the gun then. This didn't occur near any police line. Severe discrepancy in the Friar's account of events. It matters. Just a single police officer would be a more private confrontation. Oh, and well, yeah.
Why would she do that? Remus claimed the girl was shot point blank in the chest. I don't think I have more detail on that, do I? Let's see. I don't even think I got a profile for her, unfortunately. What a glaring inaccuracy in the wolf's testimony. Does matter. She had someone targeted and assassinated her before she could even react. The girl was targeted and murdered in the stealthy professional attack. Therefore, this is not an ordinary police confrontation. Perhaps the girl was scared by the police, started running away, and was shot in the back as she fled. If the girl were running away, she would have at least been a couple steps away from the killer at the time of the shooting. But I know the killer was standing right behind the victim. How could you possibly know that? Because of the bloody handprint? Print to the left hand on the girl's left shoulder near her upper back. The angle and positioning of the print indicated it could only have been caused by another person. That's why I'm so certain the killer was right behind the killer, or right behind the girl. Sorry, I'm just amused by the majesty lines. Still trying to work out the details. I'm so certain the killer was right. This whole trial is patently absurd. It's an animal court through and through. If you also focus on when and how the handprint was made, you missed the larger issue. I don't have a left hand, you idiots. I couldn't have possibly left that mark. Thanks, Valerity. Oh, right, of course. Maybe the handprint came from an accomplice. It feels good to see someone else speculating wildly for a change. Hey! This is the beggar rat. Explain the pig out of this one. It's a false flag operation. No, but I'm almost certain that, well, this is described as Act 4C, so I think this ending is completely different from if you had successfully saved Edgeworth. I'm guessing the main branch point is Act 3, but you can probably also screw up Act 2. I just happened to get the necessary evidence for it. I think it's... Possible that I may have failed to have figured out everything involving Prince Juan Renard Lopez, so he wouldn't have been here to give me the evidence that I needed here. Romulus has perfect vision. Why would he need something like this? It's part of a disguise. No coincidence for Remus happened to find the very same inspector just as another murder occurred today. Why would they do that? To rile you up, to make you lust for violence. A criminal can find an innocent man any longer than necessary, even if the man is a bitter, stubborn pig. You're stupid, you're reckless, you fought Beacon Talon for my freedom. I 
Okay, the duck's not going to get himself killed or murder hundreds of people. Had a discussion. Came to the conclusion I've been misled by a couple of wolves. And the crop ensures death. Pull the trigger, do it. Let him live. Not exactly bloodless. I mean, Edgeworth died. Buckled all my expectations, avoided every temptation, and opted for an option that shouldn't even exist. I've demonstrated the power of passivism in its purest form. Everyone get down. Shot himself. What a loony. Doesn't make sense for him to kill himself so abruptly. We need to get out of here, all of us, right now. Oh, right, the shot, because he went and told Beck. <laughs> nice. Oh man, cutscene. It's me or them. Fire every cannon. So it really is the worst possible bad ending. <laughs> I think if you look closely, some of them have bird faces. I wonder if the other endings give you more detail about Falcon's role in the July Revolution. It's when you shot the prosecutor, but that was also my fault. Most people's mistakes don't spark bloody revolutions. Bring you from the Railway Express. Modern technology truly is amazing. Gone on vacation until things settle down. The King fleeing to Britain, the Second Republic taking over. It's all crazy stuff. Got my hands on a copy of the official police report, and it says that Falcon died during the attack on the barricade. I didn't find a body, or one for the mort. The mo, I guess. Falcon I knew was tough and intuitive. Swan Lady. Yes, I see a person selling something strudel. Millibrem strudel. Delicious, that's what. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's the super bad ending. <laughs> but big props to... Uh... To Aviary Attorney for letting you get a bad ending, right? It's again part of the Ace Attorney send up. You need to go to Vienna, yeah. I like this game a lot. Um, I think it probably stands just fine on its own, but it's definitely more enjoyable if you've played the Ace Attorney games. I think I'm, they must have had fun brainstorming what are things from Ace Attorney that we want to comment on. Uh, I'm actually super bummed that they released it incomplete and that the reviews suffered so much from it because I like to see more games like this from this developer. 
They need to do like a, a product relaunch. Aviary attorney, different suffix. Another rum strudel that's basically sweet cheese strudel that's been half baked, half boiled in custard. For each the end of route C, the ending you receive is determined by the decisions you made in chapter three. Try tackling the trial and the catacombs differently in order to see a different ending. I think I'd have to do all of case three in order to be able to see the uh, other endings, but I'm guessing you can save Edgeworth by investigating better. Um, and then maybe change things a little bit at the end. <laughs> cool. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap there. I'll credit some time back to Azlua. Um, thanks for Brutus and Azlua for sharing Aviary Attorney. It's a very cool game. Hope to see more like it.